coach. Yo guys, United Gozos here and I'm here with... Richard. And what did you bring today? Uh, I played my mentor at the European World, uh, World Championship qualifier. Nice, nice, nice. And how did you do? Um, I went 9-3 after Swiss and got 64th place, so I reached the top cut with it. I had to play against uh, first after Swiss guy. Unfortunately, I lost game 3 due to a brick, but anyways, I topped, so here we go. Memento. You start with Anguage, which is your... Uh, I like to start at the most, since you can actively dodge Nibiru when you start with him. Um, Darkblade, second best starter, and Tatsuno no Toshigo. Those are yeah. your one-card combos. The best nine. The best nine. To yeah. open it. Now, for my actual favorite card of the deck, Shleepin. Um, it's a new card I can, out of Vincent, yeah, huh? It's <laughs> new from Infinite Forbidden. I always compare this card to Shavara. It can quick effect special summon itself from hand. It does a fusion summon. It does something when it is destroyed. It does everything. <laughs> I play two to have some more flexibility. Um, you sometimes want one in the graveyard. You sometimes want to hard draw it. So it's, but you can also side out one going second soul. Mm. Now, for some engine requirements, Maze and Goblin. You can start combos with them as well. They are just not as good as the other combos. The real engine requirements are those two. <laughs> you never want to open those. <laughs> no. <laughs> how, how often did you start with them? Um, I think I opened Trihorn like three times. Gatic maybe once. Then the big boss of the deck, Combined Creation. This is the biggest monster in the game. I always like to play the deck with the biggest main deck monster. Yeah, this is really uh, so shout out to my Earth Machine guys. <laughs> Ruin was the best card. Um, then I played one Fiends with Engraver. This stuff is just here for extension, so I didn't like the line where you start with the Fiends move, so I just cut down to one and you will see in my exo deck what I try to do with him. Non engine, I played three effect whaler, three ash blossom, three Nibiru. Those ahead, three impermanence, two bestials, they underperform, so I probably wouldn't play them again. Ghost over, I, I think I actually never resolved it. <laughs> okay. And one to protective silence, it's just in here for the siding patterns. When I side in my crossword designators for going first, so I have this was a crossword target as well. Okay, okay. Um, now for the spell cards, the broken spell cards, three memento fusion, three bone party. They allow you to dodge hand traps in engine and are just crazy extenders. You always want to see this, no? <laughs> These are the, yeah. are the best ones. Uh, the field spell, this is the setup for your end field. You can grab your traps after you send them from the deck to the graveyard. And the last card is Asa Rune, so spoiler ahead, there's a rabbit in my extra deck. Two fusions. I played two copies of the Creation King and one copy of the Twin Dragon. Uh, Creation King is also absolutely crazy. New card yeah. from Infinite Forbidden. Uh, you can set up everything you want with him. Yeah, you can send free one from anywhere. Yeah, from, from deck, anywhere. You can send spell deck, okay. traps, fusions, monsters, oh. anything. Okay, this card is totally correct. Generic yeah. um, stuff. I also played the Guardian Camera. Uh, Memento Fusion is generic. You just have to use a Memento Monster as a fusion material. <laughs> then for generic end board pieces, SP Little Knight and the Rabbit. I tried to summon both of those, plus the combined creation, the 5k beat stick, plus everything in the back row. Yeah. Um, more generic stuff, Access Code Talker, Cross Sheep and Appaloosa. And the rest of my extra deck is just for the one engraver. <laughs> when you get hand trapped, you try to go into... Closed Heaven into Requiem, then some Necrocrypt Princess into Beatrice, and Beatrice sends the Memento Fusion spell. And that gets your engine going, okay. Um, and the other two cards are Sequence and Lacrima. I use those for my full combo where I end on SP and the Rabbit. So, for the sideboard, I sided three Phantasmi and three Mulchami. I always sided those in when I went second versus Snake Eye. Yeah. Um, uh, how did Mulchami perform this weekend for you? Um, I think it actually didn't. It did? Yeah, I resolved it once, and then yeah. I drew two cards, but that's it. That's it? Okay, yeah, okay that's okay. it. Fantasme also didn't really perform, so maybe this wasn't the correct decision, or maybe I got unlucky with them. Um, the actually hidden MVP in my sideboard, the reason why I topped. <laughs> 
okay or something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's actually special, holy. Um, in round 12, I played against Runic Stump. Yeah. <laughs> and he, game three, he hard opened rivalry plus golden match. I oh, tribute, yeah. set it a ghost, uh, Chaos Hunter. A turn later, I flipped it face up, set an infinite impermanence face down in the column of the rivalry of the warlords. Next turn, I activated impermanence, negated Hugin and rivalry, normal summon dark blade, effect dark blade, destroy the ghost match. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, that's man. crazy. Okay. You cannot activate any runic uh, pop effects. Yeah, you can't oh, activate any. It, the main reason I played this was for a Ritual Beast, but I played against three runic stuns, so I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> it's also good against them, yeah? Yeah. Uh, one half is Feather Duster. Triple Cross of Designator for going first. I also side in one Mulch Army going first. Yeah, just for makes, the cross sense, makes sense. And last two cards Cranium Burst. Um, I side in going first versus Snake Eye and. You will. Uh, it's just Appaloosa for five. Yeah, it's the Appaloosa. And this card is also for Ten Pi, Labyrinth, Runic Stun. It's basically a double pop. You can pop so many cards against Runic, they, they can't keep up with their Yugins. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, that's it for the deck profile. I want to give some shout outs um, to all the people who congratulated me and a special shout out to Michael Warnert who um, did all the Memento Theory with me. Yeah, I already did a shout out to the Earth Machine guys, so yeah, here we go. Yeah. Thank you, Richard.